like midnight. I'm finally like home and settled because I had to go on a hunt for some Claritin D. So I am about to get these cabinets together, clean out my refrigerator. I think I'm going to set my detox stuff up tomorrow. And tonight I'm just going to focus on organizing these cabinets and getting my refrigerator cleaned out so that tomorrow while I'm cooking, like my counters is cleaned off and all that other stuff. So let's get this organization started. This organizing started. So ignore the hats hanging up. It's just because I'm going to put them, I believe, in the hall closet. They were in my closet and just taking up space. So remember, I have pulled all of this stuff out of that coat closet this stuff over here was in the coat closet and then this stuff over here was in the coat closet and ignore just like the mess because i am currently i also gotta clean out the dishwasher and put new dishes in but i'm currently like cleaning everything so i'm going through clothes to give away like it is real, real serious so let's just get down to this putting this stuff away first and then i'll clean out the refrigerator um, and then I'll pull stuff out of the ca the top cabinets so that I can find some place for this stuff to go. Let's get down to organizing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bad little flex, she wanna know me. I stay low key, I'll cast no breaks, baby. Let them hold sleep. Body on to make your girl. Doesn't that look so pretty? Like. I don't know, it just makes me want to drink the stuff. Like, oh, so on to the next thing. So next, I'm going to do the refrigerator. I feel like I keep the refrigerator pretty clean because it's not necessarily the most functional refrigerator. But so I try my best to like keep it as clean as possible. Um, so yeah, let me get down to doing the refrigerator. I don't, I'm trying to decide, am I going to take all the shelves out and stuff? I don't need to because I literally just wiped it down about a week ago. But I will just go through, like, yeah, like a week and a half ago, I wiped it down. So I'll just go through and throw away what's not good and what I'm not going to use. So that I could put, I want to move the shelves up and put, like, my Gatorades and the juices and stuff in the refrigerator to make room. Oh, D, I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely. I got something for you when we get home. If you let me put it down, when I hit the town, you should lie on me. Keep your minds on me. On try, baby, I think you should side with me. Stay solid one time if you lie with me Just promise you never lie to me Keep the moves on tuck, I know what's all up Everything good, keep the vibes on crush I know what's all good Know what's all love Know what's all love So this looks so much better at some point, I'm going to get, like, those little bins that you see people have and, like, put the stuff in bins. But I made it functional for me. So, like, I put all my skincare products up here. Like, if you don't have a skincare refrigerator, you do not need to go buy one. Just put them in your refrigerator. Um, like, my cocktail sauce, my little seasonings, they have to be refrigerated. All my other, like, sauces, barbecue, whatever. I had to turn this around because these glass jars take up a bit a bit of space so something i may do is dump these like into mason jars um which i will probably do because that'll make it much easier to manage is if i put them in mason jars um my milk my husband's creamer i left like his soda one of his juices and um one of his protein shakes and a milk just because I wanted, okay, I'll get to that in a minute. And then butter, which finally, I've been going to the store buying all this butter with the holidays and stuff. And I'm finally down to like my last like 
four pack. <laughs> so I had to chuckle about that. My relish should not be. These are like the jam. My husband likes jam. Um, toppings for ice cream, which I don't really eat. So, but I'm not even sure why they're here, but they are. So I made space for them. My other condiments, the coconut, almond milk, and lemon juice. And then I have some more condiments that couldn't fit. Let me turn this off because it's annoying me. Some more condiments that just couldn't fit on the doors. And then just like my eggs and my bacon. So the idea is that well, this egg is a boiled egg, so it should really go on this side. But like when I buy raw meats before I prepare them, I'll put the raw meats here. And then I'll put like any prepared food. Like once I put them in the containers in here, the juices will stay in here. And once I'm done making my detox waters, like my infused waters, I'll put them over here. And as well as like any bottled waters, although I'm not like a cold water drinker, but you know people come over they want a cold water it'll be on this side so i'll do like the mason jars to here and then do two rolls for the 16 ounce bottles of water and then i have all of my like cheese and i have these little pickle snacks in here um and then my vegetables in here and then these are like my grab and go so my diet pudding well sugar-free puddings any like snacks so technically this should go down here and like yogurts and stuff like that so i think i did a really really great job i this is more functional and it looks way better and i'm about to do now this one i'm about to do up here i'm not sure how i'm gonna be able to record that but yeah, I'm about to do up here because it's a lot, a lot of stuff up here. Let's get to it. So first, I'm going to have to get this ladder. i to find a ladder to even get up here. Ooh, I'm taking on something crazy. I'm taking on something really, really crazy. It is 1.14 a.m. and I'm, I had my coffee. I said I wanted to do this because I cleaned my living room today. I want to clean this. Like, I'm just kind of tired of this being this way. Funny story is I ran into my housekeeper in... Um, Let me turn around and talk to y'all. So, I ran into my housekeeper in CVS when I was on my mission for Claritin D. I like the light source better this way. So I ran into my housekeeper and I was like, I meant to call you. You don't have to come on Wednesday because I'm still organizing everything. Sean is away. So while he's away, I'm pulling everything out of the cabinets and, and organizing everything. She was like, okay, no problem. No worry. I'll be there next week. I said, yes, he'll be home next week. You all could come next week when, you know, he's, he's here because... It's just easier for me. Like, I, I can clean my own house. I, I've never had a problem with cleaning. Like, I know how to clean. I've been cleaning for a very long time. It's just not my favorite thing to do. And I'm just at this point, like I've said many a times, where I just want everything in my house to be, like, organized and in a space. And, like, we have a ton of stuff between the two of us. And that's why I'm currently, like, going through so much stuff to give away, to sell, to whatever. Um, and then like wanting to pull everything out because for instance, we have about maybe six bottles of body wash. Um, and I've gone to the store to buy more like, oh, you know, I don't have any body wash and I have six bottles at home, but they're in a cabinet and I can't see them or don't know that they're there. So I want to just move stuff so that my house is organized i am tired of living in clutter so and even if it's covered clutter it's still cup clutter right like people think that like oh it's a way I, i've never like your house always looks nice i never would know and it's like yeah but i know and it's almost like the things in the cabinets are calling my name like i'm here and it's like oh no gotta get rid of it so yep let's do this so I zoomed in just so you could see, like, it is madness up there. I've been feeling like the motherfucking man lately. Can't nobody do it like I can daily. Baddest in the lattice in the land. Body turn your nigga to a fanny up. Fanny. Yeah. I made it with 
where I'm at on my own Had a couple blocks in the road But I get to the bag on the low I be counting stacks while they grow Yeah, you know me, baby, won't you keep me company? So I cleaned out all of the canned goods first. I'm going to wipe that side down. And then as it dries, I'm going to do the other side. But I didn't know that canned goods expired. Like I thought that was the purpose of canned goods was so if life ever happens that the canned goods would still be good. I can't be the only person that did not know that canned goods had an expiration date on them. I thought that they could be like 10 years old. So like if an apocalypse came and we had to survive off of something, we're supposed to get canned goods and survive off of the canned goods. But clearly, can we won't be eating expired food because it expires. So I got those canned goods during the pandemic in 2020 and they have an expiration date of 2022. Well, it says Best Buy 2020, 2021 on some of them and Best Buy 2022 on other ones of them. So I'm going to Google it and see. I also ask my mom. I'm not going to put them back up there because Best Buy means that it's just like the freshest until this date, right? And then after this date, it begins to lose its freshness, but it still should be good. But again, I'm not going to put them back. I'm just really like intrigued by it and don't know why people always like stock up on canned goods as if canned goods don't go bad but yeah let me wipe this side down and then i'll work on that side and put the cans back and then wipe that side down and go to the next one give me something to do when i get lonely i got something for you when we get home if you let me put it down when i come in town you should lie on me keep your minds on me on try baby i think you should side with me stay solid one time if you lie with me just promise you never lie to me keep the moves on tuck i know it's all so so far i did just this first one which looks a thousand percent better it is 149 let's go see yeah, I still gotta find some place for all of that stuff. It is 150 and I'm tired. I'm like beginning to wind down. 150 and I'm tired and I'm beginning to like wind down. Madison is over there, knocked out up on top of the pillows, like, mom, it's time for bed. Um, I'm actually proud of myself. I got a lot of stuff done. Um Especially after going to school and doing all those things. So tomorrow I have to take my car to get service. And then that's at 9. So I want to be there at 9 and drop my car off. And then I'll probably get back home by like 9.30. And then I could do this from like maybe from like 10 to 2. Um, but I'm pacing myself. I'm in no rush because of what my horoscope said it said the month of february it didn't say like the first week in february the second week in february it said the freaking month of february so once i get done the cabinets i will get i'll walk through how i organize them because it makes a ton of sense to me um so i'm signing out of here good night so good morning it is wednesday i think it's february 9th yeah, it's Wednesday, February, February 9th, because it's the Ivy Heart release today. <laughs> That's a shame. That's how I know the date, right? So I didn't do any vlogging yesterday because nothing was happening. Like I got up, was in a mood, and then I sat on my couch until it was time for me to get ready for school. Got ready for school, went to school. I probably should have vlogged me doing my first like client i had we had model day at school so i should have vlogged that but i didn't so today there is a checklist of things that i have to do i have to take my car to get service um it's like eight o'clock in the morning i have to take my car to get service then i have to go to get my um fillers up like not updated but just go get my fillers checked and 
yeah so i'm going to take you all along with me and i'm doing organizing today my goal is to complete my kitchen organization today because i am sick and tired of the mess so let's go all right so i dropped my car off i had to catch a lift back i get really really bad um what is that it's not called morning sickness motion sickness when i ride in the back of a car it's really really weird so i'm coming to home goods because i want to get some like cookie jars i guess not cookie jars a sugar jar for um one of the cabinets i want to get a sugar and a flour um jar so come with me Everything good, keep the vibes on crush. I know it's all good, good. Know it's all love. But I like it. Queen B. Ray Dunn had this mug that said, Hey Girl on it, and it was pink. And I had hit it and was going to go back and get it, and I didn't. And I'm sad because I can't find it now. Libra. So I'm finally back home. I am about to make me a shake because I started doing my shake. I haven't done my water, like my detox water. I'm going to make that today but i'm gonna make me a shake and then i have like two hours to do some organizing before my injector appointment and so what i was saying earlier was i'm getting my fillers checked so i got fillers maybe almost a month ago and so she wanted me to come back in two weeks to see how they settled i'm going to put a video up of my original fillers so oh what was that about um i'm just going to go get a little bit more a little like a teeny bit more in my lines um because that's you know that's why i got them so i'm about to make my shake and then i'm about to do some organizing and i didn't even do really i didn't do bad at all at home goods so i think it was 79.87 i recorded it but 79.87 and that was like that's good for me that's really good for me so yeah let me make my shake start organizing and then off to my injector appointment and then I'll come back by the time I come back I will be ready to like eat something I think I'm gonna make like I think I'm gonna make some egg salad I'm not sure um but I'll figure that out then so
you saw I took all the bins and stuff down, baskets down, and like organized them. So the way I organized them were, these are all the protein snacks. These are the things that's gonna go in the front because they're the healthier of the snacks. These two are like the snacky snacks. These are probably a little bit healthier than these. So I'm gonna put, I have like some Triscuits. I'm gonna put the Triscuits like in front of them. You'll see, but that's how I organize them. So I'll grab for this first and then go for the others. I kind of feel bad because, so I feel bad because we basically like i have almost a trash bag and a half of stuff that expired because we couldn't see up there to know that it was there and that's just so misfortune so that's part of why i'm doing like this strenuous organizing so i can see what we have and stop overspending and overbuying so let me get this stuff in the cabinet and then i'm gonna like clean off my counters and then the kitchen is done dishwasher is going um actually i'm not going to be done i have this bottom cabinet to do um, I want to wash out, I want to actually put them in the dishwasher. I guess I might just uh, let them soak in really hot water and soap while I'm um, going to my injector appointment. And then I'll do it this evening, dry it out, put the sugar in there, um, the flour, and then clean out this bottom cabinet. And then once that's clean, let me check. I, I'm, I have a spice drawer in cabinet. I'm not sure that I want to tackle that. Um... The drawer is good. The cabinet is meh, but it's not like the rest of the stuff. Like I know what's in that cabinet, you know? So I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Let me just get this stuff back in the cabinets. I'm here for you. You're not by Get into. Look at me. Let me open up me an organization a business. <laughs> Psych your mind. So, on my way to where am I going? Oh, to get to go see about my fillers. Well, not to see about them, but to get a little bit more. A little one, two. Um, and then by the time I get home, I think I'm going to wipe down the counters, um, set my trash cans back up. Y'all see I put a little bit of fabuloso in boiling water. And they don't even smell because I use these like cherry flavored trash bags, but it's just a habit. And yeah, I think that's about all that I'm doing. And then it'll be time for school. Oh, I got some schoolwork I need to do. So I'll probably do that after I finish with my injections. Come home and do some schoolwork. Okay, good. Okay. Do you like a little more fullness in the lower lip? And like a, like a dash more like that. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Anything else that you want to do a little differently? Just a little more in. A little more in that line too. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. All right, we'll get you numbing. Okay. Do you want more anything? So. I'm sitting here with this numbing stuff. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit on my bottom lip and a little bit on my little frown lines. And then I should be done for at least like a few months. Just this line a little bit? Oh, cause it's more like the lower part that bothers you, right? It's not like all the way up here. No, it's the upper part that bothers me. But what do you think is best? So which would be your priority? Like which one should we start with? Should we start with the lines or should we start with the lips? Let's start with the lines. Gotcha, okay.
cheap one. It's always this one, right? Mm -hmm. I like this one's still is a little extra love. I think this one's good now, though. Okay. And we'll still have a nice little bit for the lips. Okay. So we'll get like a little... A little plump? Yeah. <laughs> Baby is giving juicy lips, honey. Juicy lips. They're not going to stay this big, though. They're definitely going to... Um, they're going to go down, which is fine. But these is cute. <laughs> I cracked myself up. I'm not doing any more, though. Like, I really just... She wanted to do my bottom lip a little fuller because it has settled... Um, and then my lines, we're going to leave them like this so that they can like, it can look still natural. So yeah. So good morning or afternoon rather. It is February the 10th, Thursday, February the 10th. And I've already been out of the house. I had a doctor's appointment. I went to Bath and Body Works to get Sean's like some stuff for Valentine's Day. Like I'm making a little basket. Um, I should have recorded me being in Bath and Body Works, but honestly, I was on the phone yapping my mouth away and I really didn't think like, let me get off the phone to record. So I'll show you all what I got in a few. Um, today, I don't know if it's really content worthy. I'm just going to be opening up some packages um, getting some finishing touches done to my closet room and that is about it um, so I'll take you all along with me I don't know you know how interesting that is but I mean y'all can see what I've been buying packages just that I loaded up and then I have some more packages so I want to get those opened and figure out what's in those boxes I know some of the stuff is for the home improvement and I didn't realize that getting one part of my house worked on would cause chaos and clutter everywhere else in my house. And I get it, we were like purging things and getting rid of things, but I just wanna snap my fingers and my house be back to normal and functionality. And I know what my horoscope said that this month I'm being called to organize. So I have to lean into that. Um, if you don't know, I'm a very astrological person, but it doesn't mean that it's fun. Like I'm ready for my space around me to be beautified and how it was before all of this. So yeah, that's about it that's happening today. Um, if you watched yesterday, I got my fillers and you could see how they're settling in. I have a little bit of bruising on my lip. Um, nothing else really. Um, I cannot get a facial for like two weeks or something like that, which kind of sucks because I have a big ball coming up. So I have to figure that out. But um, yeah, and I didn't talk about yesterday, but I shot some footage of me in school. I took my practical yesterday for um, me to be cleared to go out on the floor and I'm looking forward to that. I did not do my shake today. I'm actually doing my regular um, core power shake. I just didn't feel like cutting up a bunch of stuff. And I mean, I don't really have to cut anything up, but the avocado, but still, I just, you know, like it's just Thursday by Thursday, I'm drained. Like I didn't want to get up early this morning. I kept pressing stop on my alarm clock. 
Um, even my husband said that tomorrow I just need to rest because I've just been going and doing. So on third tomorrow today when I come home from school, I'm gonna open up all those boxes to see what's what and then put them away, get the boxes moved out. And I think that will make me feel better as far as the clutter is concerned. Um, and then tomorrow I'm going to just clean everything. Um, I want to do under my cabinets in my bathroom, um, but I need all of this stuff around me to be cleaned, gone, put wherever it needs to be put or go, and then I can focus on that. So my goal is by Friday evening to have all of this living room, dining room back to normal, island cleaned off, all of this stuff done in my entryway. So then that way I can move on to um, doing something different. <laughs> all right, so I will be back when I'm opening the packages. I have some homework that is due that I need to work on and um, yeah. A little bit selfish, you get mad every time.